Hi there. Today's question is, who is the promised spirit according to Peter? In this episode and the two to follow, I will address the question, who is the promised spirit? In this episode, I will connect two verses spoken by Peter, which gives us insight into Peter's thinking and belief regarding the promised spirit. Notice what he said in his sermon at Pentecost. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now notice what Peter says in the very next chapter, that's Acts chapter 3. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you. Peter is the same person that spoke both verses. Please note the similarity between the two. Repent, repent. Be baptized, be converted. For the remissions of sins, that your sins may be blotted out. Here he says, ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. While here he says, and he, that is God, shall send Jesus Christ. In Peter's mind, receiving the promised spirit is equivalent to receiving Jesus Christ. These two simple yet profound verses give us insight into Peter's beliefs regarding the identity of the promised spirit. It is not a third person or being other than Jesus Christ called God the Holy Spirit. Not at all. Receiving the promised spirit is receiving the spirit and the life and the presence of Jesus Christ himself. In the next episode, we will examine who the promised spirit or the comforter is according to John. If you are wondering where does the father fit in this picture, then keep an eye out for the coming videos. I will address this question in one of them. Until then, keep your eyes on Jesus.